As artificial intelligence continues to evolve, it is increasingly integrating in the academia life. From sparking ideas to gathering information to even grading assignments, all can be handled in a flash. I use ChatGPT in almost all of my courses, uh, especially for core classes where I need like uh, additional information on like the topic, and I'm not the reading or anything. I usually do reach for ChatGPT to summarize, to give me ideas for essays, for reflection papers. I use AI to brainstorm or understand certain concepts, whether it's in a chapter or a PowerPoint. Previously in a computer science course, when I was stuck with a code and I used AI to help me find that code. To ensure responsible use, the Center of Learning and Teaching at AUC has implemented clear guidelines for AI usage. Right. So the guidelines, by the way, we worked on them as the Center for Learning and Teaching. The provost has guidelines as well. But the ones that we came up with, there were faculty involved and there were some students, my students in my own class, they were involved. And they're basically for the faculty, it tells the faculty member they have to be clear with their students whether or not AI is allowed, and if it is allowed, to what extent and in which assignments it's allowed, and how to cite that they've used AI. But students, what we tell them is, don't assume that AI use is allowed or not allowed based on what one professor does. Different professors will have different guidelines. You have to check with them before you use AI. When they use AI, they have to cite it, and we give them guidelines for how to cite that they've used AI. And the other thing is they have to check what comes out. And if they're going to cite something and say AI said this, they have to find other sources to corroborate because whatever AI comes up with cannot be considered credible unless other sources say the same thing. In an effort to curb academic dishonesty, the university has also implemented strict sanctions for AI usage violations. Artificial intelligence, since it's considered a cheating case, so it, it normally it falls under level 3 in the sanction matrix that is published on their website. Uh, level 3 sanctions might be um, um, a reduced load or prohibition from taking courses uh, and deferred suspension, so the student might be on probation for one year if, and if he or she violates the academic integrity rule or any rule on campus, he, he or she might be suspended for the following semester. Um, so it depends whether this is the first time to use artificial intelligence, it falls under level 3A. If it's a repeated um, violation, maybe the student will be expelled or su suspended for one semester. Undoubtedly, AI is making the learning process more seamless, but the pivotal aspect will remain ethical usage. This was Omnia Ahed from AUC TV, Cairo.